Combo Prayer. Father in heaven, I come before you in prayer to thank you that the earth is yours and the fullness thereof. I enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. I praise you because you are holy, worthy, righteous, and just. I plead the blood of Jesus over myself, my dwelling place, my spouse, my vehicles, my technological devices, my finances every bit of provision presently coming to me and everything under my stewardship. I pray that your heavenly hosts, your angels, would guard this dwelling place round about, above and below, and against every dimensional access point in Jesus' name. I command any and every altar or part that would attempt to go out of the body or work in any way inside the body to bring sabotage, create havoc, or ruination, including operating in collusion with the enemy, both known and unknown, seen and unseen, to be immediately apprehended apprehended, isolated, and put to sleep in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, for sending your heavenly hosts, your angels, to facilitate these actions. You are my refuge and my fortress. My God, in you will I trust. I thank you that you set a hedge of protection round about me and that no plague will come near my dwelling. I thank you in advance at every curse. Hex, vex, spell, incantation, voodoo, sorcery, form of witchcraft, dark art, or other form of weaponized demonic activity sent against me would be reversed upon the heads of the non-human senders sevenfold that they would know that Jesus is Lord. I pray that every human spirit, fallen angelic spirit, or otherwise malevolent spirit attempting to come against me or my household would be apprehended by your heavenly host such that they cannot so much as set foot upon this property. I pray that they would be escorted out to wherever the Lord Jesus sends them pierced through with many arrows and discomfited by the lightning in the process that they would know that Jesus is Lord. I cancel and render powerless all attempts at mind-to-mind -mind communication, thought and dream manipulation, and all other forms of psychic, telepathic, and technological intrusion in the name of Jesus. In the spirit, I establish a matrix of protection around me, my family, both spiritual and natural, and my realm that hinders and blocks any and every attack of technology and physical ways of all sorts, including sound, EMF, radio wave, microwave, light wave, gamma wave, and all other waveforms. And I employ the overlay of gold in this in Jesus name. I declare that this matrix also acts as a filtration system for any corrupt or contaminated food, drink, air, or gases of any sort. In addition, I infuse this matrix with the blood of Yeshua and deploy the heavenly host to reinforce it. I proclaim that it is effective throughout all realms and dimensions, past, present, and future, to eternity in the heavens, upon the earth, within the sea, its paths and habitations, and under the earth. I ask you, Heavenly Father, to reconnect, reestablish, and take dominion on my behalf of the ancient paths. I thank you that all of my thoughts, prayers, and dreams are inspired by your Holy Spirit, and that anything not of you will be immediately discovered, apprehended, removed from my sphere, and dealt with as you would command, and that every point of access would be thoroughly sealed up with angelic guards and fresh provisions of wisdom and strategy dispatched and dispensed to stand guard about these points until the time you would decree. I declare that my sleep will be sweet, uninterrupted, and yield beautiful dreams of encouragement, inspiration, confirmation, and instruction from you, blessed Father. I declare that I will receive grace, breathe, healing, refreshing, and restoration as I sleep. I declare that upon waking, I will be well prepared and rejoice to greet the new day with you. I declare that my day will be productive, balanced, divinely led, and guided. Hallelujah. I put on the armor of light. I take up the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth. I declare that my feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. I take up the shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. I take up the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me with the very same anointing that Jesus Christ has. The anointing in me removes every burden and destroys every yoke in my life. Jesus is my hope and expectation of glory. I expect the glory of God to be poured out on my life like the rain. I declare that you are Jehovah Jireh. You are the God who provides. You own the cattle on a thousand hills and you have and will 
will provide for my every need according to the riches of your abundance in glory by Christ Jesus. I will lack no good thing as I am sent by you into the world. You said in your word that as I seek first the kingdom of God and your righteousness, all these things will be added unto me. The gold is yours and the silver is yours. You said in your word that the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just and so I strategically position myself to receive the spoils of your enemies not only for myself but for an inheritance to my children as I have given so it shall be given unto me pressed down shaken together and running over have and uh, shall you cause men to give unto my bosom furthermore I receive wisdom which is from above I receive wisdom in whose right hand is length of days and in whose left hand is riches and honor I speak to my hands and I declare that everything that I set my hands to will prosper. I set myself to honor your word that I will prosper in all that I do. I will not turn from your word to the left or to the right that I may prosper wherever I go. Your word says that as I delight myself in your law and meditate upon your word day and night, I will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth fruit in season. My leaf also shall not wither and whatever I do shall prosper. Thank you, Lord, that increases multiplied unto me and that you establish me in everlasting habitations of true wealth. Lord, I come before you in prayer, and I pray that the God of my Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, would give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Christ, the eyes of my understanding being enlightened, that I would know what is the hope of your calling and what are the riches and the glory of your inheritance in the saints, to know the exceeding greatness of your power to us who believe according to the working of your mighty power which you wrought in Christ when you raised him from the dead and set him at your own right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come and has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. I bow my knee to the God of my Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and on earth is named, that you would grant me according to the riches of your glory to be strengthened with might by your spirit in the inner man, that Christ would dwell in my heart by faith, and that I, being rooted and grounded in love, would be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, to know the love of Christ which passes all knowledge, that I would be filled with all the fullness of God, and unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all I can ask or think according to the power that works in us, unto him be the glory by the church, by Christ Jesus throughout all generations, age without end. Father, I pray that I would be filled with the knowledge of your will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that I would walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Strengthen with all might according to your glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness, giving thanks unto the Father which has made me to be a partaker of the inheritance of the saints in light, who has delivered me from the power of darkness and has translated me into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom I have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. And this I pray that my love may abound still more and more in real knowledge and all discernment so that I may approve the things that are excellent in order to be sincere and blameless until the day of Christ, having been filled with the fruit of righteousness, which comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. Lord, I thank you that you will count me worthy of my calling and fulfill every desire for goodness and the work of faith with power so that the name of my Lord Jesus will be glorified and I will be glorified in him according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray for my family and community that the word of the Lord will spread rapidly and be glorified and that we will be rescued from perverse and evil men for not all have faith, but the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen and protect us from the evil one. Father, I come before you in prayer and I praise and worship the name of Jesus. You are the God who was and who is and who is to come. You are the Alpha 
and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. You are the author of creation, the great I am, the king of peace. I thank you, Lord, that your word goes forth and performs that for which it is sent. It does not return to you void. I declare your word, which states that the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just, and I am a recipient of supernatural wealth transfer. I pray that you divinely collapse the power structures of the wicked that destroy and lead astray your holy people, that supernatural interruptions are mandated against all forms of wickedness being executed from the kingdom of darkness. I declare that assignments against my life and the lives of my brothers and sisters in Christ come under the jurisdiction of heaven and become forcefully canceled in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that angels are presently ministering protection to me and fighting my battles as I declare your words over my life. I thank you for your profound love for me and for this lost and dying world that goes beyond all comprehension. I pray for the grace to be an instrument of communication on your behalf, for your word says that he who wins souls is wise. I declare that the sum total of everything under my stewardship is in this moment coming under the protection of the blood of Jesus, extending to my key relationships and upcoming divine appointments. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that everything I set my hand to is prospering and that you give me grace, which is sufficiently empowering me to overcome every obstacle in my path. I pray all of this in the mighty name of Jesus and seal this prayer in every realm, age, timeline, and dimension, past, present, and future to infinity. Amen.